my beautiful tubies and my TikTokers and my Teletubbies. One of the reasons why people can't find their person, if you're still interested in finding your person and dating or the marriage thing, uh, what this uh, young man has to say here, he's making some pretty valid points, Was also, which also helps you to understand why it's so easy for these runaway husbands to just pick up and run away with all of these new dating apps and all of these uh, different avenues that they have for picking up women, women who are willing to share a man, women who uh, don't have no problem with community penis and uh, they don't have a problem with 50-50 or whatever. But anyway, what he's saying is correct. And I want to share this with you. It's good to see you, huh? Live. Yeah, my hair looks crazy. But that's okay, right? Here we go. Reasons why. One of the reasons why a lot of people are struggling to find their person is because we have too much fucking access to too many people. Think about it, right? Back then, when you met somebody, y'all both liked each other. Y'all both took the time to get to know one another, right? And the energy was reciprocated, right? You learned about that person, what they like, what they don't like. You learned about this person's family, their goals. But most importantly, it was just you and that person that was getting to know one another. Nobody else. But nowadays, we have so much fucking access that you don't even get past the talking stage. And the reason why a lot of people don't get past the talking stage is because in this generation... Once you meet somebody, that person is already talking to two, three, four different people, right? And I know some people like myself, we don't really like to entertain a lot of people. It's, it's too much. A lot of people got too much baggage. There's just too much that come with it. We'd rather focus on one person and see what they go, right? But in this generation, there's too much fucking access. Social media, the uh, um, dating apps, you go outside, somebody's talking to you. So people don't feel like they need to really get to know so one person, because they're already talking to a whole bunch of people, which sucks. Like, take me back to the, the time where you actually had to sit down and get to know somebody. You actually had to sit down and, and court this person and date this person and see where things go. But nowadays, you spend two days a week, you talking to somebody, and that's it. <laughs> Y'all stop talking. The fact that we have too much access in our hands to so many people is really a bad thing because it distorts a lot of people's reality and perspective, right? Because now a lot of people think that, well, there's always somebody else. But some people you might be able to replace, but that vibe and connection you had with them, it can't be replaced. That energy, it can't be replaced. The way they treated you, it can't be replaced. And this is why it's imperative to get out of this mindset that, well, there's always somebody else. There's always somebody else. Because as long as you think like that, in every situation, you will never be able to cherish that person. You will never be able to lock in that one person and actually deeply form a connection. Because in your mindset, there's always somebody better. There's always going to be the next best thing. And you'll constantly be searching for that next best thing. One of the reasons why a lot of people are struggling lot of sense here i think it has its good sides and then it has its bad sides i think the good side of all of this is until you're married you should be at least dating three people that way you don't get yourself caught out there um too easily you know but like he said he's making a lot of sense you know people know that they have so many options so they feel why should i have to invest with this person when I have, look at all the, all I got to do is, you know, you just scroll past. Uh, nope, boring. Or I hang out with you for three days or a week and I'm done with you because you're boring as all get out and I need something new. And yes, with the modern technology that they have, the dating apps, shows like Kendra G, it does make it easier. And that's also why you have a lot of the men who's finding it easy to just pick up and bounce. Because let's be real, ladies, you know, we outnumber men in large numbers. And it's so much easier for a man to find a good woman than it is for a woman to find a decent man. And that's why, you know, in my other um, um, videos, I penned what a lot of these women are going through who their husbands just picked up and left. These men are finding other women who are willing to put up with a lot of crap, if you want my view. Personally, me, I already recommend stay single, live the Delaney sister life style. I'll pin 
the movie. You just press that link. I love the Delaney Sister Lifestyle because it was easy. They were successful, hardworking. Oh, my God. But anyway, sticking to the point, yes, people are just so disposable now. You know? Anyway, twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. Ding, 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 ding. It's good to see you in person again. Thank <laughs> you.